Hey guys, what's up? Zax here, and today we are here with F1 2013 Career Mode once again, the Indian Grand Prix, this time in the Force India, are technically our home race for the owner. So we'll be looking for a decent result here. We won't be thinking of anything spectacular, especially our strategy here will be going prime option. And being a bit ambitious down to turn one, I've got to be ambitious, otherwise I'm probably not going to get any positions here. Nearly steered into Perez there. Weber, Alonso taking down the cone. And now we'll try and get into the slipstream of Weber here. It's up into P4. Uh, it's a bit cheeky getting up all these positions off the, off the bat, but uh, I guess I've got to really do it. Weber looking for a move on Alonso. Well, he was, but then he backed out of it. And I'll try to get them both. Can I get them both? No, I can't. Slightly block off Weber here. Front brakes. And I probably now I'm going to lose a huge amount of positions. Because, well, not actually, yeah, I'm going to lose a lot of time. I know that because these tyres are actually really horrible. They don't really stick to the road very well at all. And in qualifying, I was like a good half second off the car in front of me in Q3. I think I probably could have got top five if I'd gone on the option. But I just wanted to try the strategy. I mean, there's not really much I can really lose now. Uh, really, the only thing I can lose is a Mercedes seat. So I suppose that's quite an important thing. But. I can't lose a huge amount of the championship, I mean I can't really fall back much further because I've got quite a good buffer in points and uh, I can't remember how many races to go after this, I think it's yes, three races to go after this so um, Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, that will be the last three episodes of season one and then it will take a day's break and then we'll start up season two on I think it's Thursday will be probably the day we'll start season two and so yeah, looking forward to that, but at the moment we're on this current task, which is completely just trying to get this car on the track, it's horrible with these tyres on, so I'm, I'm happy I'm getting these out of the way. Oh wow, this game, this game, and my Xbox, wow. I have, I have no words for that, I just don't know. Wow, that wasn't the game's fault actually, I don't know why I said this game. But wow, this is, my Xbox is really just not liking it, anything recently. I've been using like three different controllers to try and get it to work, and they all do the same thing. I don't know why. See, it's a bit annoying. But for some reason, I'm like two seconds off the pace of lap with these tyres. So, uh, well, it's going to be fun to try and keep these guys behind me. But the gap in front's going to be astronomical with all the time we come into the pit stop. So. We're going to sort of have to pit, we're going to have to cover off when they pit, so they're going to probably pit laps. Oh, we hit the side of me. So we're going to probably have to go quite a long way on the, the option tyres just to make the strategy sort of work. I don't. It's going to be hard because I've got to sort of defend from them, but I've also got to run my own race. As I probably will end up being faster, so I think we're going to come in lap 8. I don't know when they're going to pit, I don't. I have no idea, I'm stupid because I just forgot to use my curves, so we'll use a lot of it here, but look at that gap, I don't understand how they can be so much faster in the race, but maybe it's just they're much better with a uh, heavy fuel load, I don't know, but Alonso's just rocketed out behind Vettel even though he lost like 3 seconds on the first lap to him. With a heavy fuel load, my Force India at certain tracks just doesn't like life, it is horrible disgusting to drive and I think that's testament to uh, well actually, I don't want to big myself up but I've done quite well on the start of some races but at the end of the races I've actually done quite badly but um, <laughs> so yeah like last race the Japanese Grand I think it was last race of the Japanese Grand Prix I just completely failed really really bad from me um, <laughs> well yeah that, that was a bit embarrassing how stupid my strategy was there it was 100% down to me I was kind of thinking that the team were going to put me on better tyres but they didn't Hamilton's now got past look at that how much grip he's got I want that Mercedes and he's probably going to scamper off the road very I have absolutely no words for how confusing this is this controller I'm gonna use a different controller here see if it works I have no idea what is happening 
Is it the controller? Is it my Xbox? Do I need to take it back in? I don't know. It's confusing me. And now this controller feels completely different to the other one. Because this is the one I got. Uh, I'm going to talk about Xbox controllers now. Um, this is the controller I got with my Xbox. And the other one I was using, I already had. So I was. Uh, yeah, it feels a bit different because this one isn't like. So, uh, DRS, this is like the ultimate test. Am I faster than him without. He's without DRS? I'm a little bit faster, yes. So that is legit. I thought. Honestly, I thought. I might whatever was just gonna like rock it off. As is the pace of the Red Bull Rosberg down in P11. After a valuable points lost in the last episode, we'll need him to do quite badly here so we can have a good race. But okay, my Xbox is messing up a little bit. I'm gonna try and find out the reason for that, but hopefully it doesn't do too many stupid things. Uh Alright, that's alright there, that's good, that's good. Rosberg looking for moves down the order. Three seconds to Hamilton. Weber only 1.3 back. This car on heavy fuel load on these, at least on these tyres. I can't say how it would have been on the option, but with these tyres, there is literally nothing. I have no idea. Oh, Weber hit the. Oh no. I wasn't looking in my mirrors and Weber just lost it. He went he dived out the inside of me I think and I was just not paying attention there. So I'm, I'm sorry to Weber I did not mean to spin him out there. That was stupid from me. And yeah, that was a bit stupid, wasn't it? I should be paying attention a bit more. Butter now right onto the back of me. So pretty much this these tires were not the ones to be on, but I think that's probably gonna be a good thing come the end of this race. I'm gonna actually have a a better car hopefully than the rest of these guys. So let's have a look at the race director. Weber, he didn't lose too much, only about three positions, so that's good. I didn't really I didn't mean to do it whatsoever, but you know, these things happen from time to time. I don't know when these guys are gonna come in the pit lane. I think it might be like lap six, so probably next lap they might be coming in the pit lane. So we'll have to watch out for that, because we're, we're gonna have to count that's it's going to be a tricky one. I could just pit when they do, but then also the tyres. I, I can't do that really, because otherwise the tyres will just... Uh, tyres will be going off right at the end of the race. I'm surprised we've got a gap back to some cars. I mean, there's only two cars right behind me. So there are other cars going really slow in this race. Because I'm going slow, there are cars going really slow in this race. And actually, it should mean... As I'm on the faster tyres towards the end of the race, it should mean actually that I've got quite a fast car towards the end of the race. Which should be good. I think I saw Rosberg getting past a couple of people. I can't even like really reach the apex there. I was trying to do like a wide swoop in, but that's my best lap of the race because actually I drove quite a lot better than I have done before but really this is a bit of a a bit of a boat currently my qualifying lap in Q2 I think it was oh, it was completely dialed I just got it everything really well and on 60% option tyres I managed to get it into the top 10 which I think was a really showing how good this car is on light fuel load but on heavy fuel load uh, not so much, not exactly the easiest car to drive. That means I've just got to slow it down a lot more before corners. Because look, I can just run it wide so much easier, but looks like Weber is battling away with Gutierrez in the background. The car is only just crossing the start of the finish line. You can see there is Alonso and Vettel out in front. Just in, you know, just like real life last year, it's between those two for the championship. This year, it is really a lot obviously different in the uh, the drivers because obviously Vettel can win it in the Indian Grand Prix in a couple of days time uh, so that that's going to be interesting if you know if Vettel crashes out Alonso still has a mathematical chance of winning the winning of winning the winning of winning the world championship if he wins the race that is cars in pit lane I can see them probably coming in this lap some of these guys 
Yeah, they're coming in the pit lane. So, right, we've got to go two more laps. How much time will we lose? I don't know, but it looks like Alonso, they've got like a whole pit stop ahead of me in this first stint. So Gutierrez hasn't pitted. I don't think Weber has either. And I think going one lap as I go like I had I had done before, if you go if you pit one lap earlier, you can really gain a quite a lot of a time advantage, but it does mean that your tires will be a bit dead towards the end of the race. But it's I think for me it's a risk worth taking as it's probably the best chance I've got of scoring any sort of points. And now everyone else is on the hard tire, so can I really pull out a good result here? Or will I not? That's going to be fun to see, as we are about halfway into this race now. We'll be halfway in on lap, halfway through lap eight. We'll be halfway through the race, and hopefully that means well, we're coming on lap eight. It tells us to pit lap nine, but. Personally, I think I've, it's my only chance to really keep the position is if I pit that lap early because I know the undercut works a treat in this game. And I don't really want to lose that time. And I've just got to really be taking as much curve as possible. Obviously, sometimes I'm taking way too much curve and I end up on the grass. But it's a tough thing on this game with a few heavy fuel load. Just like real life, actually. You've got to say they've done a very good job with that. In real life, when you have a heavy fuel load, it's really not fun to drive. And it's not fun to drive for me. So we're going to get ahead of Hamilton there, up into a podium position. Surprisingly enough, no cars have retired. And look, as the fuel burning off, we're actually doing quite good lap times here. And that's quite good, actually. I didn't really... I wasn't really paying attention to that, but we're actually doing some better lap times now. Obviously, the cars in front still pulling away. As I'm on destroyed primes, they're on good primes, so... I'm looking forward to this challenge here. What can we do? Where will we come out? I don't know. But it's certainly going to be a fun end to the race. So we're about halfway into the race right now. Halfway la through lap 8. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. I think this is one of the shorter races of the season because it's just so fast. So you cover the kilometres so much faster. Because obviously I think each race has a set kilometre uh, amount of kilometres you have to cover and then that makes up the amount of laps but as you know tracks like Monza are so fast and you know obviously quite a long track and you go so fast you cover the kilometres so much faster so that's why for example the the Italian Grand Prix is much faster than the Singapore Grand Prix even though they're pretty much the same amount of kilometres um, yeah that's why because you're going so much faster I'm using a quick flashback there I just want to make sure that I just get this correct pit road entry here. I'm like traveling half the speed through some of these corners. Well, maybe not half the speed, but I'm covering like 20 miles an hour less going into the. Wow. That was the worst way I could possibly go into the pit lane, but I, I just did it like that. You know, that's how I roll. So tires will go option. And let's see where I come out. Come on, Force India crew. You can do it. Guys are quite worn. Put me down onto the ground, and away we go. How much time have I lost? I think we're going to lose the time to Button. Not too much, though, actually. Quite good. It looks like somebody's going to go around the outside of us here. Massa. He's gone around the outside of us. But actually, that's not too bad. Losing two positions. One car has retired from the race now. If I'd gone an extra lap on those tyres, I'd probably be would have just been I would have been completely out of I think the points but let's see how this ends up getting all those marbles off my tyres rolling down the straight not much of an advantage on Massa to be perfectly honest but look at the, the grip through the corner how it is just magically just got so much better it feels good it feels good and I think we could have an opportunity here to well, maybe not if we drive like that but we could have an opportunity to get back into the top five. Especially if these guys are struggling with their tyres. So for me it was definitely a, a risk worth taking because I think my pace wasn't exactly good. I mean in certain, in certain races this year I've actually been able to fight for the win on legitimate pace but 
some races I haven't, and that means uh, I've got to try and switch it up with different strategies and undercuts and all that sort of stuff. Alright, we're not going to get any. I don't know why the DRS zone is in this straight, to be perfectly honest. There's one after the other big straight where I think it'll be better fit. Right, so it's pretty much looking like Button's got a good manoeuvre done here. He... Oh, he hasn't really done a... What happened there? Oh, wow, the car just jumped up in the air. Right, let's use our flashback. Yes, that got a much better line through at that time. Massa... Goodbye. Yeah, look at the DRS actually is making quite a big advantage there, which is good. Uh, I was kind of worried actually that we weren't going to get much of an advantage from it. Now to try and chase down Button. This is going to be fun. Button's obviously in a pretty similar paced car to us. And look at that, fastest first sector. Yeah, that's how we do it. This is probably going to be my fastest lap of the race, whatever happens now. Because I've got the DR, I've had the DRS. The tyres have been good, so this is probably going to be our fastest lap of this Indian Grand Prix. The button has really pulled out a big advantage through that sector. I don't. No, it's still purple, but button gained out quite a lot of time on us on that sector. Yes, we took a lot of curb there. I think it is through the first sector where I gained most of my time. Especially with the curves and the DRS I had last time through. Oh, DRS has been broke. Oh, masses into the pit lane. Oh, we set the fastest lap of the race. That's something for this race. If I don't get anything better, but I set the fastest lap at a certain stage, which is quite good. So Massa now coming into pit lane. I fear that Rosberg will get past him. So. Where is Rosberg? Rosberg. Damn it, Massa. You've given Rosberg a point. One point, just one point, but that's a point that I could be having. One extra point. Actually, I could be having an advantage, I should say. India's a nice track. It's not the best track, but it's quite a fun track. I think when you dial it up and get a really nice lap in, it's a really nice track. But it's just this sector here. You have to, sometimes you just have to take it so slowly because otherwise you're just going to die because it's just so much faster when you get it hooked up and it's just so much nicer so there wasn't really much point in overtaking matter I didn't realise he hadn't pitted or maybe he had pitted just going for a two stopper maybe thinking that was a better option for him ok well that was grass I didn't mean to go onto it apparently a lot of people were saying that the the AI are affected by tire wear, but I really can't see it. They just they just keep going and going and going. Their pace doesn't drop off. I mean, people like Vettel or whatever setting fastest laps on the last lap. You know, it, to an extent, it does happen in real life, but not very often. But they seem to do it like most races, which is a bit annoying. And that suddenly the tires have gone off. So we're going to have three and a half laps here. Can we hold off the likes of Gutierrez and the guys behind? Don't know. But it looks like, I think Rosberg was in P9. I think that's the best result he's going to be getting because there's quite a big gap between him and the car in front. But Button's actually chasing after Hamilton at quite a good pace here. And uh, yeah, so a lot of people liked the league race yesterday. I mean... I know it's not career mode, so it didn't really get the amount of likes as you know normal. But you know, a lot of people still tuned in. It got about the same amount of views as career mode, so that's good. I'm in. That's really good to see that people are interested in the Afro League because when I uploaded it on F1 2012, uh, nah, I'm not trying to be rude here, but it didn't really get a very amazing response. And uh, so I think I'll be continuing, you know, continuing with it. I mean, if you guys are enjoying it, that is. Just let me know at any point if you're not enjoying it, just so we can make some changes to it, do highlights or something. Because I don't want to be uploading videos that 
you know, you don't enjoy it. So I try my best all the time to make the best videos possible. So right, button is the car in front. I'm not gonna catch him anymore. A 130.7 was our best lap. That was the fastest lap of the race, but we're now two seconds off that. I reckon if we'd stayed at that pace for a couple, or just one more lap, we might have been able to take the fight to Button, but who's this car in front? Is this... No, I didn't mean to use a flashback. Seems legitimate. But we've already used two flashbacks. Hamilton, not that far in front. So Raikkonen is behind Rosberg, so he could be actually... He could be challenging with a DRS overtake or something. So apparently we've still got a flashback left. Didn't realise that. Maybe that's just a glitch. I think there was somebody saying there was a glitch with the flashbacks. It sometimes gives you one more than you actually have. Bit weird, bit strange, but whatever. I guess you sometimes get these glitches in games. Looks like to me that Button is catching uh, Hamilton at a fair old pace. And if anything, I'm catching him as well. So I reckon Button's going to get Hamilton before the end of this race. I'm probably not. But I don't really mind about that. As long as I can keep in a solid fifth place, I'm happy. I forgot to look who's the t retired car as well. I'll look at that after the race. But Hamilton, either, you know, he's struggling with tyre wear. Like it's telling me there, you're struggling. You're struggling, aren't you? And I'll say, yes, I do know that. But why are you telling me? <laughs> I'm all over the place. I don't know how Button has just completely destroyed Hamilton in terms of lap times here, but he's right behind him. I oh, just wish I'd be able to keep, keep up with him just like one lap longer. One more lap, I think I would have been able to you know, go for the challenge. But now our tyres are like dead. But Hamilton now has conceded the position to Button. I do, a re one feature I don't like about this game is that it tells you your tyres are completely destroyed. I, cause I get annoyed when I see my tyres are destroyed because it makes me drive worse. So I just wish there was an option to just turn that off because I know how silly that sounds, but I just I don't enjoy having that in the game. So Hamilton really isn't doing very well here. He's dropping off at a fair old pace. I reckon a couple more laps and we could have actually got him here. We'll see what it is across the line, but I don't know what it is, whether he's got some sort of... Oh, damn it, I just completely missed that corner. I'm sorry, that was my bad. Completely misjudging where the corner was. Which was a stupid error on my part, but did you notice? No, no qualifying, not qualifying, no penalty at all. It's a bit weird, a bit strange, but... Oh, I've drove not too good in this episode, but... Stop telling me my tires are destroyed, I know. Actually, I could have got DRS here. Oh, I didn't, what? I was, I was behind Gutierrez at that point, so I don't understand that. I'm going to back off just a tad here. Let Gutierrez be in front of me into this zone. Okay, well, don't do that then. Ooh, my ties are destroyed. This is so legit. <laughs> I'll just give them a car's width. Well, I sort of squeezed them a bit there, but I did just have the advantages side by side action. Gutierrez pinned onto the apex, and Webber's made a mistake now. So Gu Gutierrez got back in that position. There was a bit of changing around there. My tyres are dead, I can't turn into corners. Will Gutierrez go around the outside of me? I think he will. Oh my god, these tyres just gone. Yeah, that one extra lap has just destroyed my tyres. Oh, Weber, 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 what are you doing, Weber? I'm going to use a flashback there because... He just... 
he wouldn't he wasn't steering into the corner. I don't know what he was doing there, but Well, but you've already spun yourself around by getting into into contact with me before, so probably not a good thing to try and do it again. Yep, there we go. Lovely. Thank you so much. Tire wear. <laughs> Web, uh, that was a sloppy end to the race. Look at that last lap. It's horrible. Nine seconds off the pace. Oof, I needed that position. I needed seventh. With Rosberg finishing ninth. That's a couple of points. So I think we got six points. And he got two. So that's four extra points. Bit of a sloppy race in general. But we got some extra points. So we're only 11 behind Rosberg now. There's the constructors table for anybody interested. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Maybe we can get to 150 likes. That'd be awesome. But it's been Axe, and I'm out of here. Goodbye.